Hi, my name is Jim Wagner. I'm a senior information developer at BMC Software. In this video, we'll take a look at the association server object in version 9 of BMC Remedy AR system. With the 9.0 release, BMC Remedy AR system adds an important server object, association. Using an association, you can relate entries between two forms. An association enables you to manage relationships between two entries in two forms to support referential integrity, cascade deletes, and archiving. Association reduces complexity in configuration for BMC Remedy AR system applications and helps you describe the data model for an application. Just like other server objects, such as active links and filters, you can create and manage associations by using BMC Remedy Developer Studio. Some of the important characteristics of an association are type, cardinality, enforcement, and qualifications. There are two types of associations, direct and indirect. A direct association has a primary and secondary form that are related directly, whereas an indirect association needs an intermediate association form to relate the primary and the secondary form. Every association has a cardinality, which dictates how entries between the two forms are related. Then you can decide whether you want to create an enforced association. If you create an enforced association, BMC Remedy AR System Server ensures data integrity is maintained. And you can optionally specify qualifications to further limit the data that is associated. In a qualification, only entries that match the qualification are related by the association. Now that we know what an association is, let's explore the cardinality of an association. An association object in BMC Remedy AR system can have three types of cardinality options, one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. One-to-one cardinality implies a singular mapping. For example, each employee can have only one birth date. One-to-many cardinality implies a single-to-multiple mapping. For example, each employee can have zero, one, or more contact numbers. An employee can be part of more than one department, and each department can have more than one employee. This illustrates many-to-many -many cardinality. The next characteristic is enforcement in relationships. It's important to understand how an enforced association works. If an association is defined as enforced, BMC Remedy AR System Server ensures data integrity is maintained. Data integrity means that the server will enforce the cardinality of the association and will ensure referential integrity. Thus, an entry will not be able to refer to another entry that does not exist. Now, let's examine how an enforced association ensures data integrity. For enforced associations, the server implements a cascade delete, which means that if an entry is deleted from the primary form, all related entries are deleted from the secondary form as well. The server does not allow any duplicate primary key values in the primary form. For example, each employee must have a unique employee ID. The server does not allow entries in the secondary form with invalid foreign key values. For example, an entry in the phone form must reference a valid employee. The server does not allow you to change primary key values in the primary form if they are referenced in a secondary form. For example, you cannot change employee ID if that employee is being referenced against phone number in the phone form. For one-to-one -one associations, the server will prevent you from creating entries in the secondary form if that entry breaks the cardinality defined by associations. For example, it will prevent the creation of a second birthday entry for the same employee. Please note that you can only create enforced associations for one-to-one -one and one-to-many cardinality. To learn more about enforced association, refer to the online documentation. As explained earlier, there are two types of associations which you can define in BMC Remedy Developer Studio, direct and indirect. This example shows the concept of primary key and foreign key. Direct associations involve only two forms. Employee ID is the primary key in the employee form and is the foreign key in the phone form. For each phone number, you must have a valid employee ID. 
Note that direct associations can have only one-to-one -one or one-to-many cardinality. Conversely, indirect associations are called external associations because they need a third form called an association form to create the relationship. In the example, the employee and phone form are related using an association form. Note that indirect associations can have all three cardinality options. Finally, let's talk about qualifications. Qualifications ensure that only entries matching specific criteria are used during the relationship. As shown in the example, there can be different types of phone number options for a phone number. However, you can choose to associate only those phone numbers that have a phone type of office. You can qualify these records for association using the qualification fields in association. Using qualifications, you can also create different relationships between entries in the same two forms. I hope this video has helped you understand the concept of associations. For more information, refer to the online documentation. Thanks for watching.